Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is the TalkTalk Talk Information Security Breach. Now, if TalkTalk Talk sounds familiar and you're not in the UK, you've probably heard about it because I've talked about this UK company before. They're a telco provider and they're also associated with the car phone warehouse, which already suffered a breach this year. In any case, last week in the UK, there was a whole bunch of news about yet another security breach at TalkTalk. Talk. It started with the CEO talking about getting a ransom letter. The letter basically said if you don't pay up 80,000 pounds or 122,000 UK dollars in Bitcoin, we're going to release all your information. And they also included a sample of the information that was stolen. Now throughout the week, there's all kinds of claims of this being related to cyber terrorism, this being related to cyber crime, and anywhere from all the information of the world was stolen from customers to only some of the personally identifiable information was stolen. But in the end, here's what we know. TalkTalk Talk has confirmed they did have a security incident, and it looks like the attacker used SQL injection to steal the database on the website. Now, it looks like the website might have stored the information of 4 million or so customers, but this is mostly personally identifiable information. So your name, email address, maybe your normal address. It does have some of your financial information, but according to TalkTalk Talk and some experts, this won't be your full credit card or account number. This is going to be just a partial uh, a bit of your account number. So they don't have any of the data to get into your banks. Now that says, the latest news suggests that the cyber criminals are already trying to monetize this attack. Apparently this database was sold on the underground and now other criminal organizations are using the information stolen in this attack to generate some very convincing phishing emails. And they share some of your real personal data to see if they can get you to give your credentials to them. And and in some cases, they seem to have used this information to steal thousands of pounds from some of the customers out there. By the way, the latest news, which is really interesting, is apparently there's a 15-year-old in UK that was just arrested today in association with this attack. Anyways, on the surface, this is very much like any other big website breach. You might be wondering what to do if you're a TalkTalk Talk customer. Well, all the normal advice applies. Definitely change your password if you have an account there. Be sure to check your credit information to see if there's any unauthorized uh, accounts opening or unauthorized purchases. You should also use uh, TalkTalk's offer of one year free credit monitoring. But one other takeaway you really should look into is to be very careful with scams right now if you're a TalkTalk Talk victim. These bad guys may not have your account number, but they have enough legitimate information that they may be able to masquerade as someone you think you might trust. So if you're a TalkTalk Talk customer, be very aware of the scams out there. If you get emails emails or phone calls asking you for your login information, never hand out those details. Anyways, it's another interesting breach. We'll continue to, to follow it. By the way, I'd recommend checking out Brian Krebs' post on this as it has a lot of details on how this breach might have actually happened. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.